Hey there, Nick from Australian Native Bee. Today I want to do a video on winter hive care and some of the things that I do with my own hives um, to look after colonies, big or small. Here's a look at my garden with a bunch of hives jumbled up. The reason why all these hives are here is this side of the house is facing north and by about 9 or 10 o'clock all these hives will receive some sunlight. These ones here are on the western side of the house and the same with them, they'll receive some light. These ones here are facing north but unobstructed by trees. So receiving sunlight is one of the most important things. Another cool little trick you can do is removing uh, your summer roof tiles or whatever you got on your highest roofs and replacing it with something that's dark coloured like this. This will actually add about 6 degrees just putting this little grass roof onto this white hive and you can see the difference there. During winter we'll get a couple of weeks that are really cold and I'll put a little screen over my hives and I put them inside if those hives aren't completely full. If your hives are completely full you don't need to do this. The reason for moving the hives inside is that you can keep them warm and by doing so you prevent the bees from using up their stores to heat their hives. So they can actually sit inside uh, if the hive's full for about three months with a screen door over them. If you are going to leave your hive inside for a long period of time, what I would recommend doing is actually unscrewing your screen off the hive uh, getting a container and uh, attaching it to the front of the hive over the entrance hole. And what this will do is allow the bees to carry rubbish out of the hive uh, while remaining contained in the hive. And that just stops any mold build up from any of the dirty things that they are carrying out of their hive. If you leave them screened up, they can just create a pile of that somewhere in the hive and mold can grow from that pile. So this just helps them uh, to stay contained. Now be sure to add some holes to yours if you decide to do this. One of the things you can do if your colony is small is actually feed it over winter. Uh, some people disagree but if you're going to keep bees in a hive you're taking responsibility for them and you should look after them. Um, basically get some sticks from a non-toxic sort of a plant and make sure they're large sticks. Smaller sticks will actually make the bees get trapped under them and they'll drown in the food that you provide them. This is just honey and water. You want a little more water to honey and you can lift up your feeder and you can gently drop it into your micro colony. Be sure to watch that honey. If it goes bubbly, replace it. That's fermenting. I've also put a little blob of resin in there so that they can build honey pots. This is actually a little glass observation hive I'm building to teach people about making micro colonies. Um, that, all that honey there is from previous uh, feeding and you can see that they've stored it all over the brood to keep it warm for winter. Some of you may be wondering why I haven't talked about styrofoam covers. I, I don't actually like putting styrofoam covers on my hives because I've just heard uh, about so many problems with them. But they work well for uh, some people in colder climates, especially in Sydney. If you've just got one hive, you can simply just wrap a blanket around it to give it a bit of extra warmth as long as it's kept out of the weather. All in all, basically you need to keep your bees uh, in a sunny location and make sure that they're not using their stores over winter. Mm -hmm.